I recently was able to crack CSIR NET examination which is considered to be one of the toughest competitive exams in India and also I got an all India rank of 160. So in this video I will share my story on how I did it, what were my mistakes and how you can avoid them to go even faster than me. So let's begin. Hello Geniuses, welcome to the first video in the competitive exam series of Metho Genius. In this series, I will share everything which I learned while preparing for this competitive exam and will teach you how to crack any sort of competitive exam with ease. So for those who don't know what is a CSI NET examination, let me tell you briefly what it is. In India, if you want to do a PhD, then there are many options. But the best thing you can do is crack this CSI NET examination. After cracking it, you can apply for PhD in many good universities and institutes and with just an interview, you are into the PhD and you can start the PhD and government will fund your research with 30,000 rupees per month. And also exactly after cracking CSI NET examinations with some conditions, you can also become an assistant professor. Okay, now let me tell you about how hard this exam is. This time 1,62,000 people gave this exam and only 1% of this amount was able to qualify this examination this time. So now let's start the story. My dream is to become an astrophysicist and to do that I need to do a PhD and for that I had to crack this examination. So my strategy was as soon as I get admitted in my masters which is of two years I will start its preparation and every year they conduct CSI net two times. So I will have four attempts. And if I'm not able to crack it in the first attempt, I will go for the second and then the third and then the fourth. And this was a foolproof plan that I will surely crack this examination till the end of my masters. And as soon as my masters end, I will start my PhD. This was my foolproof plan. I was extremely confident and happy, but something happened. My MSc started in the year of 2020 and in that year there was the spread of that coronavirus which basically made everything shut down and we all were extremely uncertain on what will happen okay so my MSc started late okay so every semester is there for six months but I had to complete those semesters in like three to four months so it was really congested and there was no time to prepare at all it was a lot of work and also myself and my whole family got infected with coronavirus it took two months for us to recover from that and it was really a tough time so my preparation for this examination was going really really bad and not at all as planned and also in that time i just want to thank you that i kept uploading videos on youtube and you guys supported me a lot and my channel crossed 1 lakh subscriber mark that also supported me financially a lot so thank you so much and also as i told you they conduct csi net two times a year but on that year they did not conduct any csi net examination so i also didn't go to attempt any exam okay now at the starting of the last semester of msc they conducted this csi net examination okay i gave that examination with some amount of preparation like i prepared for a month but only two hours a day really less preparation and i gave that exam and I scored 42 marks out of 200 in that examination, which is not very bad, but they are not good also. It simply signifies that my basics are somewhat strong, but I am not able to apply them to solve tough questions. Okay, just for you to compare, if you score above 110 in this examination, then you might be in the top 100 of this examination. Okay, so with those 42 marks, I was not able to qualify CSI net examination and it was extremely extremely sad for me. And it was because I am the guy who is teaching all over the world how to become a genius in math. I have tons of videos on this channel on how to study, how to improve, how to learn maths and how to calculate in seconds. And if I myself am not able to crack this examination, then I have no right to go and teach to the world how to study. So it was extremely sad for me. But this thing was somewhat good too. This also became my motivation and I promised myself if I was not able to crack the next CSI net examination, I will stop uploading on YouTube till I am able to crack this examination. Because if I am not able to do this, then I am not worthy of teaching you on how to become a genius in math. Okay? 
so my only goal became is to crack the next examination so i just continued my last semester of msc without preparing a lot because the thing is that in the last semester of msc we had to do a project and it takes a lot of effort to do that it's like a mini phd so i just focused on that i knew that they will conduct the next csi net examination around september of 2022 and my msc finished on 2 july so i roughly had 2 months to prepare for this examination and also have already given it once so i knew exactly what i had to do so my plan simply was i will prepare it for myself because now i had some experience of this examination and then i thought i should buy a test series which are a kind of mock tests which simulate the exam environment there and also compare our final score with other students so that we can analyze ourselves so i looked up on the internet and found a coaching institute named ifs and i just signed up there to buy the test series so after around 2 days of that sign up i got a call from their agent saying that that you should buy our coaching as yes, you just got 42 out of 200 you should buy it it will help you etc etc but they were saying that they will prepare me for the next csi net examination which will help after the september one because according to them two months are not enough for preparation of csi net we at least need six months and i disagreed i wanted to crack only this one so i said i will prepare myself for this one only so i simply denied them but then my father told me that i should buy it if i don't find it useful then i won't use it but if i found it useful then use it who knows it might be helpful okay so i simply bought their online live classes csi net preparation course which extended for 6 months okay my main strategy was i will prepare myself and use this as an extension or something like i can ask my doubts etc etc only that then i started attending the lectures of that coaching and for one class they took 2 hours okay and sometimes on a day they took 4 four, four classes so 8 hours a day and my own preparation took at least 3 to 4 hours so it was 11 to 12 hours a day study so it was a lot of hard work okay now listen to this extremely carefully this is the mistake which i was doing so you don't have to do it what i saw was this in that coaching institute the teachers who were teaching me already cracked csi net examination so they exactly knew what mistakes i will do while preparing for this examination so they were helping me to save my time not doing the mistakes if i prepared myself then i would have done those mistakes and improved them but it would cost me time which i did not had the thing is that my basic from the msc was good they taught me how to apply that basic to crack this examination they showed me how to solve questions efficiently and faster they taught me how to pick the right questions to solve in that examination and lot of other stuffs i will share the details on how exactly i prepared in further videos this video is just the overview on how i did it so my advice to you is that if you are preparing for any competitive exam you have to surround yourself with those people who have already done that and the best way to do that is to buy a coaching from any good institute whatever you like but do that it will cost you some money but it will save you a tremendous amount of time will teach you the right amount of technique etc etc so don't do the mistake like i was doing of not buying that okay when i got the call from their agent and they were saying buy it buy it i was thinking they are selfish they just want money etc etc yes they wanted money but in return what they give was really good so you should buy a coaching from a good institute whatever you like and also one thing there were students in my batch who were preparing from one year six months in that institute but were not able to qualify this examination so it's not only the coaching you yourself also matters a lot but it will help you a lot too so do not do that mistake what i did so i was studying 11 to 13 hours per day for this examination so just want to tell you hard work also matters a lot you have to become worthy of that okay so if you are saying like i bought the most expensive coaching from the number one institute etc etc and i was not able to crack it it's your fault you didn't work hard enough okay so you have to put in that amount of effort too okay even after studying all this etc etc i had one challenge in front of myself 
the batch i was in was preparing me for the next csa net after the september one but i myself wanted to crack that one so the teachers were going with that pace so that they can complete the syllabus till the next one but i wanted to crack that one okay so what i did was this see i attended the live classes and completed some subjects with those and in their app they also provided all the lectures of our previous batch so they already have completed all the subjects so i prepared half from live classes and half from recorded lectures one thing which i also want to tell you is that if you ever wanted to buy an online course then you should have a really good internet connection too because if you don't have good internet connection that online course will feel like hell okay so if you ever wanted to buy an online course first get a good internet connection too so what i was saying is this i half prepared from live classes half prepared from recorded lectures and then one month before csnet examination i started to give mock tests from which i was comparing myself from other student and those mock tests also helped a lot so this one thing also keep in mind that mock tests are extremely important like they are the key they will practice you a lot so when you will go to give that examination there you won't think like i have to do this i have to do this automatically your hands will move everything will happen automatically there so that you don't have to think and waste time there you have to do a lots and lots of mock tests okay so i gave mock tests and in every mock test i was scoring above 90 so i had a good feeling that i will crack the next csnet examination and it took them 2 months to release the result on november 16 i got the result and qualified csnet examination with 160 all india rank and it was really amazing i always wanted to make this video in which i was teaching how to do it so it is a dream come true right now for me i was really proud of myself because a lot told me that it was impossible to do it in 2 months but i did that so it was an amazing feeling of cracking that examination my path for getting a phd in astrophysics is now clear and also i can continue youtube too i am now even a more worthy fellow of teaching you guys and i hope this story inspired you somewhat and you got an idea on how to crack any kind of competitive exams Now also I will make more detailed video on how exactly I prepared for CSNET examinations and also a video on what gadgets you can buy to make your studies even faster some tricks some tips etc etc so be ready for those videos and also thank you for your tremendous support and thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything